typically, you know what it is, whenever you sell a car, it always looks its best when it goes. Exactly. Guys, so we're here at the SCC season opener and I'm gonna reveal my new car. <laughs> Didn't make much of a difference, did it? Time for it. That's going up for sale as well. How many is that then? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Eight and stopped. Oh, yeah, we might have all the uh, speciali out there just do a little photo. Really loud, man. <laughs> cold, but it's cold without exhaust. It's got no caps on it, basically. So it's yeah. straight through. Looks good, doesn't it? The cold wheel. Yeah. I wish I had done it now. <laughs> Typically, you know what it is. Whenever you sell a car, it always looks its best when it goes. Exactly. You do everything. You make it perfect, and then it's sold. I really, really like that. And where's this one going again? It's going to Germany.
actually harder to get in and out of them. Right. Really? For me, it is. Tall people problems. So what do you think of the wheels on this as well? I like that. I actually quite like that. That's called white gold satin, Porsche white gold. Just, they do two different colours. They do one that's nearly that colour. So the car's battery with gold wheels, but not white gold, the dark gold. And then when we bought the car, they had been done silver. Oh, I really like that colour, so we are changing back to gold, but doing it the white gold. Yeah. I think it looks good. Yeah, I actually prefer this. This week, I've got loads going on and mixing it up a bit. It's not only trucks. Yeah, you know, I've got speciality that's just sold a couple of weeks ago. We've got loads of bits and bobs the guy wanted done on that. One of the things being the wheels, we've done them in the gold, so they've been finished in the original Ferrari gold. Just got this in stock. Uh, today, I've got to use it for something. I've got to take it over to Imageworks and measure up for the stickers on the GT4 race car, the club sport, for the new season livery. We haven't got the car, unfortunately, so luckily I had this, so we can take this and go and get it done. We also changed the color of the wheels on this, so they were silver. Didn't really get much about it on the silver. I just wanted to do them in something a little bit different. So we did them in the Porsche white gold satin. That looks really good now. So that will be going up for sale soon. Probably might wait a couple of weeks till the weather gets a bit better. Uh, loads of Ranger stock in. Um, that's it really, been working on the race car, working on the Clio, so I'm racing in the 197 this season. Um, we're sponsoring the Porsche, so we are sponsoring the GC4, doing the livery with Imageworks, the Ranger sponsoring it, Expel have kindly sponsored it. This car's going to Expel next, that's going to have full PPF, um, so check those guys out. So I'm going to jump in this now, get down to Imageworks and we'll see what's going on down there. to measure from that point, basically. 17, 1695. Don't click off a bit. Nah, but what, how do we zoom in? Uh, how do you measure as well? Let me go. Let go, we'll get stuck with all that. Yeah, so that back line. Can't be 200 mil longer. So that must be different on the race car. 1965 or one, yeah. One sure, nine one, one, six, if it was 1695, it's close. One. 1695. Yeah. 1693. Yeah. 1693. Yeah. So, this year's colour scheme is we've got this Tiffany satin chrome and then obviously the main body of the car is in, in the white and then we're pairing it with this. Which is Avery midnight blue satin metallic. I think that's going to look pretty cool, isn't it? 
Yeah, well, this is Glass Wall's colours, so um, the main sponsor on the car. So their colour scheme was that dark royal blue and then like the mint green. But we thought we'd obviously jazz it up a bit by doing something a bit rather than just doing the palette, you know, like the Pantones, actually going for some nice contrast. Satin chrome's nice, isn't it? It's going to look good. Have you seen the design? Right. That's the design. Yeah, so obviously that's going to be in the satin Tiffany chrome. So basically, what you've got to do with it, because we've got to cut all of this and send it to the uh, race team for them to fit it. So we need to make sure everything all lines up with the car. So we're going to use the road car as a donor to get all these. Because obviously this is, looks, here it's easy, it's flat. But then when it's on the actual car, you've got so many curves. So it's just trying to get all that lined up nicely, basically. So it still looks like the design once it's on the car. So also behind me, something very special that we've been working on. Um, it's not really much out there about it at a minute. We're going to do a full video on it, but we've partnered up with Alcon, Deranged, Imageworks. And the idea is we're going to get Duncan here, AKA the fastest plasterer, up the hill, Pikes Peak. So this, this is a Dax Rush with the high boost turbo in. Critical sort of 600 or just under 600 kilos. Um, around 450 horsepower. Yeah, so the power to weight ratio on this is going to be unbelievable, really, yeah, isn't it? I mean, you know, we're, we're probably around the 550 horse, uh, 550 kilos. Yeah, so we're not like a full aero car like some of them that go up there. You see some crazy aero cars, but Dunk's been driving this car now for how long? 12 years. It's 12 years he's been driving it's done loads of. Um, Hill climb stuff, sprint stuff, haven't you? Always done really well. This is my time attack car. Um, it's one outrider brands, one outrider rocking them in time attack. Uh, holds various lap records in places, so we've actually stripped it right back um, and we've had to do quite a lot of modifications to it to get it to Pikes Peak standard. It'll be the first seven ever to take on Pikes Peak. Yes, yeah, so all the cage, all of this cage was completely yeah, made new, boost. fabricated it. Modified the cage for me. Um, lots of people have helped. Um, you know, the, the amount of work that's gone into this to get it to this stage is up. And I've just been making little bits that look nice, basically. Jace has been pretty <laughs> bit, a bit. Making it look pretty. Uh, yeah. yeah well, see, we made all these, didn't we, for the spoiler. So we've added the spoiler. So we have got a little bit of aero. Try and help with downforce on the rear. Got a wing that goes on the front. Yeah, I'll pop bonnet off, let you have a quick look under there. It's not all finished yet, but it's 99%. So we have intercoolers. That's all new as well, isn't it? Intercooler is new, new turbo. So we're running the Garrett G25 550 with the 45mm uh, Turbo Smart Pro Wastegate on there, or Hypergate, um, for a bit more reliability this year. 
yeah, it's gonna be epic. So we're gonna do a full video on this showing the complete build, stripping it down, putting it back together, all the bits we've done. Um, and also we'll be talking about the journey so far and how we get into Pikes Peak. But um, for now, I just wanted to show you a little bit about what we're doing and how the car is. We're nearly there. Um, do obviously a lot of little bits to do, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe and hit notifications and also follow Fastest Plaster on Instagram. Guys, so we're here at the SCC season opener and I'm gonna reveal my new car. I've bought my new car first drive today. Absolutely love it. A um, little bit of a clue, it's not as loud as the Speciale and definitely needs an exhaust. Let's have a look at some of the cars and then I'm gonna show you my new one. There's some awesome cars here. Everything from Hondas, McLarens, Ferraris. By the way, this is the brand new um, HR Owen Hatfield branch, got new Ferrari showroom, new Bentley, Lamborghini, Maserati. We've just had a guided tour and the place is unreal. So um, I'm sure we'll show you some of that as well. Look, a few Lamborghinis here. Urus Performante. That's cool, that spec. Lovely F12, 296, nice Vantage, MC20 over there. Yeah, what do you think about the Thinking about getting one of these guys, I've just been in and spoke to Maserati and he said I can order the new cello, which is the Spider version. So I'm actually going to head back over there in a minute and speak to him about that. Sorry about the wind, hopefully you can hear me. Um, but yeah, I spoke to my friend last night. He's got the coupe, the MC20. He said it's the best car he's driven in a long time. And I race with him. He drives all sorts of cars. So I'm excited to have a go in one and get my order in for one of those. But anyway, let's have a look at what I've just bought. If anyone can guess. I might just walk past it and see if you can guess. See if it's a bit of me. That's nice as well. That's nice. Murdered out 48 piece of spider. Could it be that? Look at all the cars, absolutely unreal. Definitely check out the new HRO in premises like it's impressive we just had like i said we had a guided tour there's a nice tdf over there unfortunately it's not that but that is a dream car so guys time for me to reveal what it is Here it is, the new car, unreal spec, 488 piece to spider, in solid black with Daytona metallic black stripe. You can't hardly see it, but it's unreal. All the carbon you can get, dry carbon, dry carbon front splitter, side skirts, dry carbon, dry carbon, dry carbon. Carbon fiber, carbon fiber. 
Oh, I'm fiber. <laughs> oh, it's unreal. But you can't even see the stripe, but it's just like subtle. And then inside, just more got dry carbon. Dry carbon everywhere. It's just proper blacked out. Obviously, that's why I've come all in black today, just to match my car, like you do. So let me know what you think, guys. That's the car. Uh, thought I'd throw it in this week's vlog. Uh, I'm very excited about it. It's my first drive today. I've literally driven a half hour on the motorway, but um, yeah, like I say, let me know what exhaust you think. I need exhaust for it. It's not loud enough. Do I decat it? Do I do 100 cell cat, 200 cell cat? Do I go Novatec? Do I go Capristo? There's so many out there, but if you've got the car or you know, or you can recommend an exhaust for it, let me know what to do. Uh, I think Novatec do straight pipe as well as the valved pipe. So yeah, I don't know what to do. I want it quite loud. It's very quiet now in my opinion. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. See you soon.